What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Magic Online. This time we got some more of this vintage cube draft ahead of us. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. Vintage cube, this is the original, the regular vintage cube. Uh, it has been updated with a bunch of stuff, though. And as always, they've added some of their newer cards to the cube, even if they don't necessarily make a bunch of sense. We have the unfortunate luck of not opening a piece of power. I think the two best cards here in this pack are like Currency Converter. I've been really happy with this card. Lots of good value, lots of good abilities. Um, yeah, you can read them there. But it's great for artifact deck, it's, uh, decks. It's great for reanimate decks. It's great for just a value card. And then we have Frantic Search, just classic combo card, of course. Good dig, good free spell. Uh, has good synergy with like Teleron Academy type lands. Eh, currency Converter is probably safest. I'm going to first pick the Frantic Search though and see if we can do a little combo of sorts though. So Frantic, one of the best cards you can have in a variety of decks. Ooh, yeah, we're going to follow that up with a Fast Bond. We're going combo. Fast Bond's great for combo. Um, but yeah, Frantic Search, similar to the Currency Converter, just good in Storm, good in the Artifact decks. Good in anything where you're trying to do busted things, but look for specific cards, right? Second pick fast bond maybe is a little bit aggressive. Uh, this this tends to wheel often enough, but I will say this: this vintage cube uh, has a lot of support, more support now for like the land based deck, which I guess maybe means that fast bond gets taken a little bit higher. So fast bond, you can play any number of lands on each of your turns, but any land beyond the first will deal one damage to you. There are a couple of infinite combos with that. Uh, Zurin Orb, sack a land, gain two life in conjunction with one of the ways to return a land from your graveyard, play a land from your graveyard, Excavator or Crucible Worlds. Scalding Tarn, Copter, Narset, Authority, Fury. Let's keep going. The quote unquote fun route so when i get fast bonds uh more than the land combos that i was talking about i look for draw seven effects right fast bond with like time spiral time twister even like memory jar just really really good into our pick number three we've got a red green blue triland wouldn't be terrible Mox Opal for the nice artifact decks. Fractured Identity, just very, very good removal spell. Uh, Mystical Tutor, also great in the combo style decks. Where do we want to go here? I would say the correct pick is probably Fractured Identity, but I don't want that. I think I'm going to go with the Tutor or the Opal. Let's go with the Opal here instead of the Tutor. No, that's wrong. Let's take the tutor. Never mind. <laughs> this requires a specific deck. Tutor just requires you to have good instants and sorceries, which I'm much more likely to have, right? Um, but yeah, we will keep an eye out for the land synergies. Well, uh, speaking of, there's Ramanap Excavator if we want to just take that right now. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fine, as this pack is not amazing anyways. Strip Mine I would take if this was, but this is a Wasteland, so while still good, not as good as Strip. Um, Emery could be good for the combo decks. We have a couple of individually good cards. Wouldn't be surprised if we wheel like the Tezzeret for some more artifact themes, but we've got the Fast Bond, we've got the Ramanath Excavator, so... If we can find Zern or we already have one infinite combo available to us. And um, with, with the fast bond uh, orb combo, if you can pull it off, then X spells also get better, right? So if picking up something like Walking Ballista, because uh, you can generate infinite mana in addition to getting infinite life, then obviously with Walking Ballista, you can ping somebody out. Another very strong pack here. This probably is just the very easiest breeding pool, right? Look at our start. 
this is definitely the good safe pick. Pest Infestation has been amazing every time, though. This is one of Green's better interactive cards for sure. Uh, command in the pack, Welder for some combos. There's another blue green land here. Easy pool for us. I guess Frantic's pretty good with Ramanap Excavator too, right? You can draw two, discard two lands, untap three, and then play the lands back out. We have a good, good initial start here, but we'll see if we can get some more stuff to uh, go along with it. I have not been particularly impressed by Dark Depths, even though it is a cool card to try to build around. I mean, this looks like an easy talisman, right? Blue-green talisman here for us. Bone Crusher is great. Toxic is great. On color talisman seems a little bit better. It's the best blue green combos we can pull off, though. Oh no. <laughs> we'll just have to see how the draft goes. Tutor Frantic. There's a Waterlogged Grove. Oh, Oracle of Moldiah also does an okay amount of work. I guess Waterlogged Grove, though, is pretty nice with Fast Bond and Ramanap Excavator, right? Because of the card drawing ability. I kind of like taking the Waterlogged Grove here over, over Oracle of Moldiah. That's a little tough. I mean, I guess Oracle with Fast Bond's also fantastic. But I'm going to take the land that sacrifices to draw a card. That might not be correct, but it feels good. True name Nemesis? What the heck? Augur of Autumn also very, very good with Fast Bond, and after passing the Oracle, a little bit tempting. Plus, Once Upon a Time, just another really, really good green spell. <sighs> the thing about True Name Nemesis is that it's just individually great, but it's not going to have any synergy in my deck. I'm going to go for synergy here. I'm going to take the Augur of Autumn. Passing... Casually to Fairy there as well. Uh, fast Bond with a Karoo land seems okay. That would have worked well with Oracle, but it doesn't work fantastic with uh, Augur, since this one doesn't let you play extra lands, just lands from the top. Man, Othari wheeling too? Sheesh. Okay, I, I mean, I am leaning in towards more of the lands deck, I guess, as we get the Selesnya Sanctuary now. Two green bounce lands. Kind of regretting not taking the Oracle. Hmm. Uh, Exploration is also in this format to go along with Fast Bond for enchantment based land acceleration. Weather Seed Treaty is hilariously bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, Catch Your Channel is fine, right? Another blue green land. Maybe we wheel the Oracle of Moldaya. I wouldn't think so. I don't remember what pack it was in, but. What else can we get? 
Emery came back. Don't think we're doing that anymore. So sideboard hearse seems fine versus graveyard based. Yeah, I'd call this a soft force, a soft land deck force. Binding could be okay on the splash, I guess. Or would we rather have overgrown? I guess overgrown two might be better as it's fetchable. Did we already pass Golos? I think I saw Golos go around already, right? So. No Golos cool value. <laughs> well, we basically have just as many lands as we do spells out of pack one. Hmm. Yeah, we need we need card draw and card selection pretty badly. And we are not getting it here so much. I guess there's a Shorikai, which is actually pretty good card drawing, right? Four mana vehicle that crew eight and is an eight eight, but uh, you can pay one and tap it to draw two and discard one plus make a one one. I'm wondering if I want to take the enlightened tutor here for fast bond purposes, but we also have the course of crew fix, which not a card I want to first pick, but a card that's going to be good in our deck. So once again, it doesn't let me play extra cards. There's Primeval Titan. Mana Leak. Sakura Tri Builder. Lelia's amazing. Teferi. I'm trying to be more combo, but I guess we're leaning towards now kind of just green stuff, aren't we? I really need some big card draw effects. Ay, 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 ay. Where are the time spirals of the world? Ignoble Hierarch. Oh, there's a draw seven. Forgot Bring Delight is also a nice one that we could have picked up, and indeed we will here. Pretty strong pack. Volcanic, Caracas, Hierarch, Tamio, Animate Dead, Probe, Mom. This is probably a card you could get to wheel. Oh, wait, is this five mana? Oh, no, oh, this is Bring Delight. Oh, man, I got tricked. I definitely thought this was uh, Sail into the West. Sail into the West is the four mana instant that is blue and green that uh, you can basically wheel a fortune both players. Each player gets to choose if they want to do that, though. Wow. Well, good, good thing I didn't accidentally misclick the Bring Delight. I don't really want the Hierarch. In fact, I'm going to take the Tamio here because this fuels the graveyard and it digs for our combo pieces, so... I think that makes more sense. Oh, upheaval is... Okay, that was a fantastic payoff piece. Upheaval with Fast Bond is amazing. Ewit. Uro is probably fine. Catacombs would be good. There we go. Gaia's Cradle now. Is also really good, but maybe not for us currently. Hex Drinker is probably safest. Could also take Delighted Halfling. I'm going to take the Cradle, I think, for... <sighs> I feel like I should just be taking these cheap green creatures, but let's go for the high upside of taking the Cradle. There's the Ballista. There's a Hoof. And I'm going to just take Botanical Sanctum here, maybe? If I'm smart, I took the hoof and start taking all the green mana dorks, because that's what's open. Yeah, let's take Pilgrim over Chariot. This is annoying, but oh well.
Manamorphos or Savannah. I guess Morphos is okay there. So Tudor grabs now Upheaval. It's going to need to find at least one more good hit for me to still want to run it, though. We're still definitely running the Fast Bond. We have just too many good synergies with it. I'd actually like to get uh, Sensei's Divining Top if we could as well. Because Fast Bond, Top, and Augur slash Courser means we can always just keep looking at the top three anytime we see a land. Put that on top, play it, you know. You can really easily churn through your deck when you have that kind of combo. Coalition Relic. Temple Garden doesn't do anything. Yeah, Relic's fine for Upheaval. I don't need too many more playables, given that we're going to be at the end of pack two here. So pack three is not going to be, or not going to need to be amazing, but... Ugh, this deck has still just got a few big holes in it. Wrong X spell, Hangerback Walker, Walking Ballista is the one that we might have considered. But again, we don't have the infinite mana combo anyway, so I guess Bobble's a free roll. Gush with Fast Bond. I didn't note that at first, but it is a combo. Right? Bounce two islands to your hand. Are we going to even be running that many islands for Gush, though? Maybe not. Maybe it is Bring to Light better here. Instant Creature Sorcerer. Eh, I mean, we're not going to be paying many colors with that. Gush Fast Bond Dream. It's a lot of good wheels. Eternal Witness or Uro? I generally think uh, Uro is pretty bad in Vintage Cube. And if we pick up like Time Walk or Time Warp in Pack 3, taking the Ewit's going to be just so much better. We already do have the Tamio to bring back um, one of those cards if we open them. But I mean, Eternal Witness with Upheaval is also a combo, right? Yeah. I don't know. This deck's like a 4 out of 10 right now or something. Raging Ravine. Possible, but unlikely. Draft's taking a while. Somebody's hogging all the packs. Who's slowing things down over here? Hey, Botanical Sanctum. <laughs> uh... 
All right, pack three it is. Give me the goods. Let us acquire all that we could want. Gonna need to pick up what, how many? Seven ish playables in the pack three here. Still might not even want to run the Gush or the Outland Liberator either. Hoof doesn't look amazing. Manamorphos is kind of filler ish. Okay, Zurin Orb for one infinite combo. That's going to be a big pickup. We might even take Zurin Orb over some really, really good cards if uh, given that opportunity. Holy crap, those last five picks took forever. My lord. All right, we did open a Mox Pearl in pack three, which is really unfortunate because we really want that Time Spiral. Or rather, that is to say, it's unfortunate that Time Spiral is in the same pack as the Mox Emerald that we're going to take. Obviously, Emerald was one of the better cards we could open. Damn. Oh, Spiral would be so good here for us. I would not expect Spiral the wheel. That would be incredible if it did. I guess there's a Rex Sage in the pack. Maybe we can wheel, but that's the only green card. All right, well, let's just take our Mox Emerald and cry a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the person next to me disconnected. They're kind of just like timing out every single pack, so. Well, maybe we get past a piece of power because of that. We did not get past a piece of power. In fact, what we did get past was kind of jank. I guess Raffellos looks good here over Sheldock Isle. This calc is also decent, but I don't know if that fits into our deck really as well as a Raffellos will. Ay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm not sure this Mystical Tutor is going to get there unless we somehow wheel that spiral. Okay, we're getting next pack Tinker and Mana Drain. My lordy. Fantastic cards. We would still probably end up taking the Tinker here if Mana Drain wasn't in the pack. Though we don't have that many cheap artifacts nor anything to Tinker into. Just the upside of getting there would be worth it, but... Seems like a pretty easy Mana Drain at this point in time. Mystical Tutor maybe get a little bit better with Mana Drain, but it's not like you want to reveal the Mana Drain to the Mystical Tutor, right? Or it's a lot more awkward when you do that, I should say. Next pick has a Wall of Roots, another okay card. We'd actually prefer to have um, Mana Accelerants that could attack when we have the Hoof, but this will do just fine. I guess Field of the Dead wouldn't be terrible in our deck. Probably going to come back around would be my guess. Man, oh man, alive. This next pick is a nice one. We've got both Oko and Time Warp in addition to Natural Order. 
I think I have to take the time warp. I was talking about it when we picked up the Eternal Witness, but now we have two different ways to get it back. And I mean, obviously, time walk would be insane, but time warp, I think, is still good enough here. It might seem a little bit crazy to pass the Oko, but I think the time warp is... Actually, that's not even true. What am I talking about? I probably should just take Oko here, right? Right? God, I want the time warp so much more, but... <sighs> the Oko is like an actual good win con, and we can cast it as turn as early as turn one with a good draw. And another really good pack, right? Oh, no, there's the zero orb. Okay. <laughs> Elvish Mystic, Force of Negation, Zern Orb, Counterspell, Simic Growth Chamber. I've got the combo now. We've got the Fast Bond Orb plus the uh, Excavator, so. It would be really nice to get, like, Green Sun Zenith as well. In order to tutor for the uh, Ramanab Excavator. Dang it, dude. That Time Warp was sick. The Zern Orb here is nice. This is not even a good Zern Orb Fast Bond deck, but... We wanted to have a little bit of fun. Scape Shift? Scapeshift could be kind of funny. I don't think we're taking that. Metamorph's probably just safer and better. Please, just one time somehow wheel that time spiral. If we can do that, I'm going to have a lot more confidence in this deck. One more pack we haven't seen either. This will be pick eight here coming up. Okay, there's the blue-green card I was talking about. Sail into the west. That's perfect. That is another draw seven. Awesome. Four mana instant. Starting with you, each player votes for return or embark. If return gets more votes, each player returns up to two cards from their graveyard to their hand. Then you exile this card. If embark gets more votes or the vote is tied, which is what you can always choose to do, each player may discard their hand and draw seven cards. So, blue green instant speed wheel of fortune. That was a clutch pickup, especially if we don't get that time spiral back. I think this draft might have been messed up because we have that player that's disconnected. The player that's passing to us currently has timed out every single pick. So, I think it might just be a little bit. Uh, Maybe unlucky with some of the cards that we're getting as well. Because there's not really a signal to read off of somebody that's auto-picking but passing to us two of the three packs, right? Kinda sucks. <sighs> this will be a good high roll deck, though. Ooze for the board. Probably just need to run that Outland Liberator. Can probably just throw in the Bobble. I don't think we want the Gush still. Maybe I still want the Gush. I guess we're running nothing but forests and mountains. Ah, <laughs> forests and islands. Yeah, I didn't get the spiral back. No surprise, right? Field of the Dead. Okay, I'll run it. Field of the Dead with Cradle plus Hoof could be a thing.
Hey, you know what? That uh, Mystical Tutor might actually be good enough to play now that it grabs that draw seven. Probably is worthwhile. Natural Order is actually not bad here, too. I mean, there will be some cases where you Natural Order hit hoof and win, but Natural Order into prime time seems fine. Yeah, this deck kind of got to came together a bit. Hey, even, okay, that was a huge pickup. That Elvish Mystic was absolutely huge. Um, what can I cut? Scapeshift Feel of the Dead? I don't think we're doing that. They did ha uh, add Valakut to the, uh, to the cube, so that's something cute that you can do as well. All right, I think I can probably get away with 16 lands. So I just need to make one cut from these. I'm not sold on the Metamorph. Yeah, this deck can get there. This deck can get, definitely get there. Fire that baby off. Let's go to round one of this vintage cube draft with our blue green combo ish deck. Right, let's go to round one here of this vintage cube drafty. Oh no, the classic. Oh my gosh, this hand would be incredible if we had one actual green source. This would be turn one elf, turn two wall of roots elf, turn three prime time, but I have to mulligan down to six. All right, I mean, this is a an okay six. Uh, I'm going to pitch the Eternal Witness here, right? This is turn one, Field of the Dead, turn two, Forest Talisman, turn three, Oko. If we find another blue source, we can hold up Mana Drain on turn four or whatever. Mystical Tutor, huh? Not a bad draw, but we'd prefer just to have some lands here. Third Path Iconoclast, okay. Good, did find land. Uh, I th think it might just be best for us to elk their Iconoclast. And a pass. I'm okay with that. Let's make a food. Let's go for Ramanap. Hold up Mana Drain. Brazen Borrower 3 1 Flash in, huh? Okay, I'll go ahead and counter that. This is going to be a little bit awkward, though, as um, I only have two blue sources currently, so I can't Mystical Tutor on my upkeep for, like, upheaval. I guess we can go get Sail into the West. Four mana pass, though. They have to have a counter, right? But I don't really have a choice. I think we just got to go for it and hope.
Oh, just cycle Shark Typhoon. Okay, that's fantastic. Nice. And we want to go Embark, right? Okay, that's great. We had zero cards in hand. We're going to draw seven. They had five cards in hand. They might not even choose to use this. Yeah, they like what they have. Okay, let us make another food. Wall of Roots. Anamorphos. Blue, green. Guess I'm going to ewit back my. Mana Drain or Sail into the West? Let's get back our Mana Drain, I think. And the next turn we can go for... Um, Pilgrim, Natural Order, holding up Mana Drain, hoping to hoof them. All right, Oko sticks around. Oh, time warp. Boo. Okay. That's not too bad. It's annoying, though, because Oko was going to be able to make an elk here, which would have probably killed them in conjunction with the natural order hoof, but it is what it is. Remember, they know I have drain in my hand. Augur of Autumn, okay. Frantic Search. Guess we just set up for next turn. Don't care about crab. So we're going to play island first. I guess we just natural order. We don't even bother franticking, right? Yeah, that's probably better. Behemoth and say, can you beat it? All right, go to combat. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, thirty-one, thirty-seven trample damage. I don't think Crab's gonna save you here. Confluence. Oh, I messed up. I should have, um, should have over tapped the blue. Oh, well, not a big deal. Okay. 
I didn't even need to cast that. I probably shouldn't have. Just gave them more information for very little reason. But nice, got first game. Don't have much sideboard. There will be Metamorph and Hearse in some matchups, but and even Ooze, but I don't think that's one of them here. So we'll just run it back. Let's go to game two. All right, on to game number two we go. Hand looks okay. Needs a little bit of help, but uh, actually has some pretty good potential here. Yeah, that's a good draw. Uh, so we'll go turn one fast bond, triome. Then no need to play out another land, because if I don't draw a land next turn, we won't need to take that extra damage for no reason. Oh, there's Zurin Orb. Okay, well. We got the Fast Bond and the Zurin Orb. Now we just need to find the Ramen app. Not gonna counter that. Wanna draw a land here? That is not a land. So we say go. All right, get to Anamorphos in response. Go blue, blue. And I will go ahead and drain that uh, brazen. So now we'll get three extra mana on our first main phase. Seems decent. There's a land. Okay. So we can go land, Ewit. Probably just go try to grab back our mana drain. Try to lose a life. I don't think I'm supposed to try to cast Sail into the West there, because then I wouldn't be able to hold up the drain. Oh, is this just Shark? 3-3 three, three Shark, it looks like, maybe? Indeed. They're going to spin their top on upkeep. Kind of hoping we drew another land there. But I guess it's technically a slow land. I mean, I could try to fire off the sail into the west end of turn, but I don't think we do that when we have upheaval and drain in our hand. Oh, there's the excavator. Okay, we can go for infinite then. So we just let this resolve, right? Yeah, pretty sure we just let this resolve. Let them eat our eternal witness. And just go.
because now we have counter up even if they do have something here in response. And that will be game, because we can go infinite life, infinite mana, upheaval, and then restart from there. <laughs> Don't want to sack the Ketria necessarily since it enters tapped. So sack a land to Zern orb, gain two life, replay it from the graveyard using Ramanap's ability, lose one life from the uh, fast bond. So we're netting life, netting infinite mana. I bet you they probably just end up scooping to the um upheaval, but since they have the subtlety, I kind of have to wait um teensy bit before doing it. Go off a little bit more first. I guess I have the mana drain available now as well. Easy peasy. Force of negation, pitching treachery. All right, we mana drain the force. And they scoop. There it is. GG's. Got the first round. Easy. All right, nice. Ran a little 10K, came back, and now we're off to, what is this, round number two here of this drafty. Uh, on the draw with a nice looking hand, actually. Turn one Mystic, turn two Relic, maybe. Uh, a mirror match, perhaps, as they have the turn one bird on the play. Hmm. Well, if I don't draw a different blue source, I won't be able to hold up Drain on turn two, but turn two Relic is still pretty good. Assuming we don't just get, like, Channel Emra cooled here. Oh, yeah, both players doing the ramp business. Okay, let's just Relic, say go. Turn one ramp, turn two ramp for both players. Pretty silly. Oh, just a pass? Oh, this is so good for us if they don't have anything this turn, because then we'll be able to untap with our um, drain available. Put a stop on my draw step. Interesting. All right, Liberator and pass. Well, hopefully they go for like a Primeval Titan next turn. Or some big six drop. Two Talisman, we're not countering that thing. 
The sail into the west here is a little bit awkward, but... I guess we'll lead off with Frantic. Want to overtap our lands here. Uh, I guess I just discard both lands. <laughs> and we can attack with both, get in for one point of damage. Come on, go for something big. Big and counterable. No, not another stupid mana dork. <laughs> now the bird pokes me for one in return. I guess, what do we want to draw? We don't just want to rip like Cradle off the top or something. Sylvan Library. I'm going to let that resolve, I think. Oh, that's a nice draw. Okay. That'll set up for lethal next turn. That's good. I don't think I'm supposed to blow up their Sylvan Library here with our Liberator. So, depending on, wow, they drew both. Depending on what the, I draw and what they cast, we might not need to tap too many of our mana dorks to be able to um, play out the hoof here. Stomp Rafelos. All right, well, we're going to have to counter that one. Oh, they reprieved their stomp. I love it. Nice. Good play. So now I can re-stomp. And I don't get the mana drain value. Lelia, attack, okay. Feeling a Lotus Cobra. I imagine they're still going to stomp our Rafelos here. Killing the wall would be kind of crazy, yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't think I have anything else to do but just attack with both of these and set up for hoof next turn. Maybe we should have gone for the flip on this earlier, because now whenever it attacks, it simply de destroys something, but... I think everything leading up to that made sense, right? We wanted to develop out the mana and whatnot. All 
All right, attack for five, reveal another card, or exile another card. Flooded strand this time, sure. Kogla. Blech. Now I don't think we can kill them, can we? Hmm. I wonder if I actually need to sail into the west end of turn here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because even if I drew a land to pl uh, play Hoof and attack with Hoof and Mystic, that's only, what, 11, 12 damage? Yeah, I think I actually have to do this. Maybe we can hit the infinite life combo or upheaval or something. Hmm, did not get there. Okay, let's see. Natural order can grab prime time and not hoof anymore. Oh, they didn't discard their hand? That's kind of insane. Talisman on top, but we definitely don't want that. Let's see. So let's natural order and shuffle away. All right. Oh, we can get Eternal Witness back. Oh, Eternal Witness can get back Hoof. Oh, but we can't cast it. So I wonder if it's still better just to grab prime time here. Oh, you know what we could do? We could E-Wit Okay, let's do this. Let's go for fun. Let's grab Ewit, grab Frantic Search. With Frantic Search, we can untap the Cradle and get a bunch of mana back again. Oh, there's upheaval. I don't have a way to draw that right now, though, right? Yeah, we can't cast that right now somehow. Hmm. Close. We were close to doing some fun stuff here. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have played out the Zurin Orb. Oh. Uh, no, they're probably just going to kill my Courser, aren't they? Okay. So, I have to imagine they have, like, a hoof of their own in their hand, since they didn't activate the uh, Sail into the West card draw effect. In which case, I guess we're just going to die. That or they messed up. Okay, we're not dead here. So Kogla's gonna punch the relic? That's fine. Lelia result reveals gruff triplets. 
All right, don't really care about that. Do you think we're supposed to chump here? Because I don't want to just randomly die. Maybe they have like an ember cleave? Is that what this is? Do they seriously have ember cleave? Wait, no, that I have Zuran Orb though, right? This doesn't actually kill me. 8, 16, 21. So I just need to sacrifice three lands. Which is totally fine. 8, 16, 21. So this is going to be 5 trample first. And then I go to 1 here. They might have messed up. Chain lightning, okay. Sacrifice. I guess I won't be able to upheaval anymore. Is there anything else I can mystical tutor for? Man, this feels like I should not have lost like this. That's not what we want to do. No, I don't think we have anything else to upheaval for, or a um, mystical tutor for. Man, how did we lose like this? That's embarrassing. Hmm. Oh, yeah, what is this? What? They have no cards in their hand, right? Oh, the Gruff Triplets. Sure, 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 sure. So, I'm going to cast Mystical to shuffle the upheaval away because we can't cast it. Uh, I guess Mana Morphos is a free roll. Prime time, huh? Not good enough. Well, actually, this gains a little bit of life. Oh, wait, this is not going to be enough, though. Go up to four, go up to five. No, it's not good enough. Okay, GG. <laughs> Don't think I should ever lose this match. Given from what we've seen of them, I think this should be a pretty good matchup for us. Metamorph looks like it's probably going to be worthwhile here. Maybe it was that turn that I Eternal witnessed back the Frantic. Maybe I should have just waited one more turn. In any case, let's go to the next game. We'll be on the play. I don't think turn three Oko is good enough here. I'm going to mulligan down that to six. That looks quite a bit better. We'll keep that. Uh, let's pitch the... Or I guess the Ewit here we don't need. And I think we go Ketria pass because we want to play Augur on turn two, I think is the best line of play instead of turn one Outland Liberator.
turn one bird again. Annoying, but fine. So would they show us chain lightning that can kill our auger? Maybe? There's their soul ring. And they have the chain lightning. Man, come on. Feels a bit unlucky, but what can you do? I think I just need to blow up the soul ring right now. Notably, I have one forest with this Rafelos. Pretty funny, pretty sad. Gonna need to find our sail into the west again, is my guess. One attack with the bird. Yes, I like it. These are really bad draws, man. And you know they're gonna have like their Kogla next turn or something too. Ugh. These are not the cards we need. Well, despite what I think should be a good matchup, the draws have not lined up particularly well for us. Here comes one of their six drops, and it's going to hurt a lot. Gruff or Kogla or whatever. Oliphant! <laughs> uh, if we lose to an Oliphant, I swear to God. Ugh. That's good. Yeah, I think we just reset. It's not an amazing play, but it's good enough. And I think we're probably going to hold the Ketria Triome and just like... Um, cycle it off. I mean, it turns off my Rafelos adding mana, but I don't think that's a big issue. I think we just need to find some action. Can't complain about a restart where we have this much and they don't have nearly as much. There's Lily again, sure. Bone Crusher Giant gone. Not upset about seeing that. There's Ram and App, but it's not doing much on its own. Let's start off by cycling the Triome. Okay. Well, that's not going to be bad with our Ram and app. I need to find Fast Bond or something now, no? Now, though. I 
All right, another Lelia attack. This time revealing Reprieve. <laughs> okay. Kind of funny. Sure, it's good. Where is all my broken stuff? Okay, that's nice. That's a good start. Prime time. Let's see, grab Field of the Dead and Cradle. Play Waterlogged Grove and Pass. Might still die just to like an Ember Cleave on the Lelia, but at least we have more stuff going on now. I might have to try trade my prime time for their Lelia. Yeah, looks like that's what we're probably going to have to do. Okay. Not the end of the world, though. Carry and Pilgrim, yep. Jeez Louise, dude. <sighs> okay, uh, so let's sack the Grove, draw a card. That's pretty good, actually. That's very good here. Oh, I don't have enough blue without playing an island, do I? Mm. God, this Raphelos is so troll, too. How much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? 10? 11? I guess that's probably fine, just resetting again. I'm going to have to play my island to do it, though. <laughs> I guess I just discard a bunch of these Karoo lands. This is a very sad state of affairs. Kill them by boredom is basically what's happening here. But if we ever find like fast bond or something, that'll be good enough. Tamio with upheaval is pretty cute combo too, assuming you can get enough mana altogether. What is even left a natural order for? Not too many good ones. Honestly, might just grab like Courser if uh, we find our fast bond. Yeah, their Rafelos looks a lot better than mine does, that's for sure. Okay, well, now we have that combo. That is to say, 
eternal witness with upheaval. So I need to start getting some blue sources on the battlefield. So let's go Raphelos. Relic Sanctum. Might as well attack for two. Hopefully they just play like Gruff Triplets or something irrelevant. Yeah, Chariot not too problematic here. If they just play a bunch of stuff that doesn't actually interact with my board, then we're doing okay. There it is. Okay, that should do it. Now we can, let's see. Add green. Eternal witness. Upheaval. Upheaval, and now we can kind of pop off here. Oh, I guess that's all I can do this turn, isn't it? Until next turn when I ram an app. <laughs> uh, this is such a crazy wheel spinning. Now we need to find our Zurin orb or whatever. Oh, there's Corsair. Okay, that fulfills what's on top of mana drain. So now we go three, Ramanap. Oh, we have the infinite bounce and mana with... Uh, Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah, this is game over, never mind. We can bounce cradle, we gain a life, play the cradle, gain a life, lose a life, tap it for mana, play the sanctuary. Bounce the cradle, play the cradle, gain a life, lose a life. Yeah, 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 this is nuts. Then we can just one, two, three, four, five. Field of the Dead, Grove, Ketria. Forest. Let's see. Draw. Pilgrims on top. Play the land from graveyard. Draw the pilgrim again. There's the Zuran orb, and now we have fully infinite. Draw the Zuran Orb, play the Zuran Orb, tap Cradle for mana, sack the Cradle, play the Cradle. <laughs> just like we drew it up. Tap, and we can just do it now. He went back our hoof. No need to get super cute.
even if just the hoof itself is attacking, it's good enough here. Okay, we got the second game. Let's win the last. Ugh. I'm not going to get this video uploaded in time. Not with games like these. Uh oh, garbage hand. That's a mulligan. It's not great, but I have to keep it. Ugh, I guess I'm pitching the double blue card here. Our hands are been, have been so bad. Hopefully I get to resolve Augur of Autumn next turn is my hope. Oh, they have the chain? Come on, man. See, their draws are just lining up so well versus me. It's sick. Well, in an ideal scenario, we draw an untapped green source, and then there's a bunch of land on top afterwards. We could also just be dead. Man, alive. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Now they have the strand with Cobra. <laughs> Uh. I hate saying it, but it's true. Their draws have high rolled versus us, and ours have low rolled. So nasty. That's a good card. Maybe I can high roll one time. All right, untapped green source into five lands on top or something. Oh, we're so close. All right, GG's. Well, I don't know if we're supposed to lose that match if we run it back 10 times. I think we probably win the majority of them, but sometimes the draw is just not going to cooperate. Let's go to round three and see if we can salvage a two and one. All right, third and final round of this vintage cube draft. Let's be on the play. Ooh, I am going to keep this risky hand on the play. If our Lano or, or if our Elvish Mystic dies or our opponent, uh, or rather, yeah, if our Elvish Mystic dies, we're pretty dead. Okay, I can deal with a turn one. Wild Nakal, okay. And we rip the forest, perfect. So this is going to be a nice turn two Raffellos here. Might be able to turn three prime time. Any untapped land off the top will do it. Actually, Ketria Triumph would also do it. Hey, they have the forest into Sacred Foundry with the Wild Nakata. That's awesome. And I am a lucky sack, though, so... Clearly, I'm going to have that turn three Primeval Titan. Let's get the Cradle. And... Uh, I guess we'll just grab the Triome after all. I don't think I need the Bounce. Triome is a Forest and a Blue Source. Okay, well, that was a high roll to undo the low roll of the pre previous match. I don't think I'm going to make any sideboarding. I mean, if they went turn one wild in the cod, all scavenging ooze is probably an okay include. But uh, I think we'll just run it back as it is. Game two of the final round. This is for, again, salvaging of a two and one. And looks good. 
issue here being is that on turn two, I cannot cast anything unless we draw another land. Since the uh, sanctuary kind of awkward here with a bunch of three drops in my hand. They all like five color. Oh, I had tribal flames to kill my uh, elf. Okay. I hope they don't have a way to blow up my sanctuary. That would be quite unfortunate. Weather seed treaty. <laughs> That is a very funny vintage cube card, but hey, no, they're on domain uh, attackers. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. That has the potential to be incredible. Okay. Um, I guess we're just going to go Relic Pass here and set up for next turn, maybe. Golos, you got it. I will say the opponent has a cool domain deck. I don't know if it's actually a good deck. Okay. Let's add... Let's add blue here. Triome Emerald. Discard the drain and the roots, I suppose. Courser. Nice. Did find an island on the top. And a forest, even. So now we can go fast bond, play the forest. I guess we're going to play the emerald, cycle the triome, and see if there's another land on top. Did not find a land. Okay. Gonna take a bit of damage this turn, but we have the makings of combo action going on. Valakut! Oh, they must have Prismatic Omen or whatever it's called, that two mana enchantment that turns all their lands into other types. They're just going to animate Ravine. That's okay. Really good for us. Sure. I like what they're trying to do. I don't know if it's good enough for Vintage Q, but I like what they're trying to do. Field of the Dead on top. Okay. Play it off the top. Drawing Hoof. I guess I just eternal witness my frantic search. I should tap it with green, I guess. Upheaval, yes, okay. Talisman. I guess, are we discarding hoof here? I don't think we need the hoof.
yeah, so we go off. We upheaval, emerald, fast bond, forest, forest, island, <laughs> and they're off it. <laughs> All right, perfect. I think our deck was really cool. I think that's a little bit unfortunate we lost round two, but hey, that's magic, baby. Sometimes, you know, even if you have a good matchup, you can lose it. Uh, cool deck. Blue-green combo-ish of sorts. As always, friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more Vintage Cube or if you want to see some more Ixalan. Bye-bye.